In this short video, I'll be talking about comply foam tips and helping you choose which one would be best for you. Now, I'll be using the Jaybird Sport X2 when I'm showing this, um, but this video should apply for any earphone in which comply foam makes tips that fit. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, comply foam tips were a game changer for the Jaybird Sport uh, earphones. They took the earphones from being almost useless because they would not stay in my ears, even with these little fins, uh, to being headphones that are some of the best ones that I've used for mountain biking. And so you can use Comply Foam for all different types of applications, whether it's mountain biking, running, uh, going to the gym, or if you just want uh, to take your earphones and make them better, even for just sitting around and listening to music or whatever, um, if you want some better isolation. So, let me show you the tips up close and we'll talk about them. So there are three main different types of tips that Comply Foam makes. They make the ones that are called comfort tips, then they make ones called isolation, and they make the sport tips. Now if you get a pair of Jaybird Sport X2 earphones, they will come not only with the silicone tips, uh, like so, but they will also come with the Comply Foam Sport Tips. Now the Sport Tips do a really good job in managing sweat in that they don't get kind of greasy and slimy with sweat if you sweat a lot. However, the problem that I had with the Sport Tips are the fact that they don't give a lot of good isolation and if you don't get a good sound isolation or seal in your ear then you're not going to get a good bass response. And I really like having a good solid bass response. So the tips that I found that work better for that are the comfort tips and the isolation tips. Now the problem for me with the isolation tips is that they are so long that they kind of got blocked in one of my ear canals. So uh, as even though I tried different positions, uh, it still kind of blocked it off and it really degraded the sound. Uh, it really was muffled and muted and again it was just in one ear canal so that shows me that some people may not have a problem at all with the isolation tips uh, then again some people like me might have one or even two ear canals where they get kind of pinched off now it does help when you put these in your ear to push them back like this and then squeeze them and then put them in your ears and they'll expand uh, however, uh, even though I tried that, I still got that blockage. So the comfort ones are shorter. So you can see how much shorter they are. And these do not get pinched off in my ears. So I get really good sound isolation and, of course, like I said, really good bass response. I said that the sport tips do a better job of managing sweat. However, even the comfort and isolation ones aren't really a problem for me and I live in a very hot and humid environment and in the summertime I sweat a lot uh, but I just don't really have much of an issue uh, yes they will get a little wetter and the sweat doesn't kind of get absorbed like the sport ones would uh, and so they may move around a little bit uh, but I don't think it'll be an issue for most people so my recommendation uh, would be if you really like sound isolation and bass to either go with the comfort ones or the isolation tips. And of course, you know, I think that most people would like the comfort ones better um, because the isolation ones are kind of long. Now, the isolation ones do give the best bass response, uh, but the, uh, the comfort ones are not that uh, much off compared to the isolation. So, uh, you know, just kind of go with which one you think. If you try the isolation ones and they get pinched off in your ears a little bit and the sound gets muted, then of course uh, go with the comfort tips. If you go to Comply Foam's website, you can look up almost any make and model earphone and probably find a tip that will fit because the inside diameter of the Comply Foam is going to be different for different types of earphones. Now, they're pretty close with Jaybird Sport. You can even go and find a link on their website and go right to the Jaybird, either Blue Buds X or X2, and find the tips that fit those. But again, 
uh, almost any make and model you're going to be able to, able to find on their website. So to sum up my recommendation, if you're looking for ear tips that have the best fit in terms of no slipping, uh, and especially when you get a lot of sweat, then the sport ones are going to be the best. Again, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of sound isolation and bass response. If you're looking for the best isolation, the best bass response, then go with the isolation tips. And if you want ones that I think are the best overall recommendation, I would go with the comfort ones. And these again are not as long, so they're a little bit more comfortable, but yet they still have really good isolation and really good bass response. So that's going to wrap it up for this video and talking about the Comply Foam tips. Hopefully it was helpful for you in helping you choose which tips would be best for your application. Thanks for watching.